this is Derek Barr with Hardy Telecommunications and today I'm going to make some uh, training videos and show you how to uh, troubleshoot or, and do some of the most commonly commonly asked questions that we get with OneNet and show you how to fix those issues. Now I'm going to talk about how to reboot your set-top box. What you're looking at here are our two different boxes. This is a DVR box right here. This is a non-DVR box. Um, and to reboot them, all you do is unplug the power cord. Um, right now, obviously, neither one of them are plugged in, but I'm going to show you on the back where the power cord would be hooked in. Um, all you do is unplug the power to the box, let it sit for about 30 seconds, uh, then reconnect the power, and then the box will reboot. So first, if I'm using the DVR box, And the power cord in this situation, I'm going to rest it against my foot there, the power cord would be plugged in right here. So all the way over on this side, you would simply unplug that right there, or unhook that, uh, and then wait about 30 seconds, push that back in, and then that would reboot your set-top box. You can always unplug it from the wall socket, um, but depending on where your hookup is or you might have those buried somewhere behind the couch or something like that so it might be easier um, I would suggest just to undo the power from this point for your non DVR box the power cord is here at the bottom so it would be right there so you would just unhook that and then that will um, reboot your set top box I will actually show you an example of one of them plugged in um, how uh, uh, it's an easy simple thing to do just make sure that you do unhook the right cord or you could actually you know unhook your um, cable to your TV your HDMI cable or you could unhook the one net signal coming in or something like that so just make sure you do get the power cord okay what you're looking at here is the non DVR set top box it is hooked up it is running I'm going to tilt the camera up here real quick that is the Helmic Rock weather cam so you can see that in the distance so it is running one net to the TV right now and there is the non DVR box so I'm going to reboot the non DVR box now it has several cords hooked to it because it is operating you can see this one right here uh, that is the one that is actually getting your one net signal um, and sending it um, from the through the TV uh, to the TV the HDMI cable right here is actually the signal going from this box out to my TV and if you remember I showed you on the non DVR box that the power cord is here at the bottom so to undo that and to reboot the box it's simply a matter of disconnecting this power cord and so I will pop that off and there I took a disconnected power to the set top box so I'll just let that sit on there for about 30 seconds. You can see that my TV lost and now says no signal because it's not picking up anything from the set-top box. And so I will let that sit there for about 30 seconds. Um, you might run into an issue where you have a picture but no sound or your picture might freeze. Um, something might lock up in your system and so you would uh, have to reboot the set-top box. It is not something that should happen often. If you find that you're having to very frequently reboot your set-top box, please give us a call at one of our offices because uh, that should not be happening and we can try some different things, maybe some different cables or, or some fixes uh, that we can do to, to correct that problem. Um, but if it's something that happens rarely uh, or just you know every now and then it's not a big deal, then rebooting your set-top box is, is a pretty easy thing to do. And it's been about 30 seconds, so I'll take the power cord and I'm just going to put it back into where it was before, plug it into the bottom of the box, and then now the box is getting power again. So I'm going to tilt this back up and bring the camera back a little bit so you can watch it as it boots back up. And I'm going to focus here. so. That's normal. That's the first screen that you see as it's coming back up. It will fade to black after that and then uh, another screen will come up. There are some green letters. 
and that's normal and at the bottom now it says loading player software please wait and that screen will be up there for several seconds uh, but that is the process of rebooting the box so and as that reboots um, then it should pop back on and there it is popping back on to the Helmic Rock channel so rebooting your set-top box is just a simple matter of disconnecting the power just need to make sure that you do get the right cord um, waiting about 30 seconds and then letting it reboot um, again it's not something you should have to do very often um, but if it's just an occasional thing and, and you are asked to reboot your box or, or before you would need to call for assistance you want to try to reboot your box yourself that's all there is to it